Show my best side. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to Common Running Mistakes. My name is Dr. Cameron Garber. I've um, got another episode for you about cold weather training. And one of the, the things that we tend to do kind of in this off-season time is we have a hard time balancing out our... Um, like rest period versus exercise period, like, or, or our ramp up to uh, a training cycle. Sometimes we, we keep things too hard and heavy during this time, and sometimes we take it off too much. And so how do we balance that out? Um, during this winter time, a lot of people, you know, just got done with kind of a racing season through October and November and hit December, and it's just such a busy time of year anyway that it's, they just kind of want to take it off and take it off altogether and just give their body a break and, and things like that. Totally get that mentality and wanting to like, just not have the pressure of having to run so that you can get back to it in the new year and, and really enjoy it again and things like that. Really, really common thing to do and want to do. And I get it for sure. Um, the other thing is people wanting not to lose their momentum uh, that they've gained through this year. And so they want to keep up that intensity through these winter months and, and be ready for the kind of the spring racing season to start. Um, there are some common running mistakes that people make in both kind of mentalities. One, when you take time off, it's, it's okay to do, but realize that there are going to be some adaptations that your body is going to make where it's going to kind of detune from its load tolerance and all of those things. And so your risk of injury coming back is going to be slightly higher if you try to just go back to what you were doing before in, in your fall training. Um, if you try to just pick up where you left off but take a month or two off, um, your risk of injury goes really high. And we see that in the clinic all the time where people go gung-ho getting started again, kind of where they left off and uh, their body's just not ready for it. The tendons, ligaments, kind of that resilience that you built up last year we lose that pretty quickly compared to how long it takes to build it up. And so that's a common running mistake that I see where people get injured because they take too much time off during this off season time. The other problem we see is a big overtraining problem where they never give themselves enough of a break and they keep their volume up and their mileage up and things and, and your body doesn't get enough of a break. And so if you don't have a lot of races scheduled, it's probably a good time to give yourself a little bit more of a break. So how do you balance that out? I would say keep running and running consistency, consistently, really detune the pace and detune the mileage a little bit, but keep the resilience up in those tissues by continuing to run every so often. So don't give up on it altogether. Just do runs that you really enjoy. Um, slow it down quite a bit and, and you know only have speed work every so often, maybe every other week or, or things like that, so that your body doesn't forget it altogether and doesn't totally detune from it but that you're not just putting a lot of pounding and mileage on and allowing your body to recover and, and really replenish those, those deep mineral stores and other things like that, that we need to keep our bone health and, and other things so that we don't start off our next season really injured um, either way from under training or over training. So if, if I were to say that's, that's one of the bigger mistakes we see is kind of balance, training balance issues um, or kind, kind of one of the biggest winter running mistakes. And so hopefully you can figure that out for you, what's going to help you to stay motivated and still love and enjoy running um, by finding that right balance of taking it easy, but still doing enough that you're not going to get injured next season. Let me know if you have any questions about that um, and, and how you can tune in your winter training. I'd be happy to answer those for you. Um, drop those in the comments down below or message me directly. We'd love to chat with you about that. Thanks so much. And thanks for joining Common Running Mistakes.